Here goes to the last shine that we have to do for the science prize adventure. Um, I already sold all my loot on the way here because the outpost was just right there. So I just did it just because it was more convenient. I'll probably sell all this loot from this one as well on my way back to Plunder Valley. Because it would be more convenient because then I can just hop right off afterwards. So I can upload these. Gosh, it takes so long to swim. Uh, there was a bunch of shipwrecks and stuff. Well, the other one was boring. The other side was very boring. Slice. I'm a fall. I don't think there would be any inside this first one. Plus, I don't see any glow. So I think it's okay. Plus, I can always just come back up if I need to. Hiya! Ha! Hi, wind! Oh. Hey, buddy. Is there one up here? Hey. Hiya. Is there one up here? Sorry, my nose was a little itchy. Yes! Okay. Do not know when the first meeting with our sea kin took place. Perhaps none remain, remain among our number who do. Perhaps it no longer matters. How strange it must have been to look down from one's boat, expecting to see your own face in the water and staring into the eyes of another. We constructed meeting places where the land met the sea and used them to consume as best we could. Over time, a bond between our peoples began to form. Legends tell us it was a young prince, barely two summers old, who became the first to topple from his perch, only to be carried safely to shore by our sea kin. It seems that sightings of the myrrh, as Bell calls them, became common in distant waters once we had departed. I wonder, might they have been searching for us? The merfolk? Yes. The sirens? No. Tyrannable! Ooh, ooh, yes! The song of our sea kin is vast, replete with harmonies and refrains. For a single mind to hold it all would be to invite madness. No matter how many times our leaders traveled to the meeting places and consumed or communed with them, there was much ooh, excuse me. Much that they never came to understand. Spotting and slivered figure while hunting would often lead to speculation. Where did our sea kin come from? Had they traveled to these waters from afar, just as we had? There were some among our number who believed that the Seekin were once as we were, and that some demon or trickster was responsible for their current shape. One among us, who at the time held the title of warrior, went further and consorted with the Sea Queen. By so, by so joining our two worlds, he nearly destroyed both. Yeah, no. I won't speak that word. I probably want. I really want to, but I'm not going to because I'm not going to be that mean. I wish this would like. No, 
Now where's the person? I need the person so I can secure this. Thank you. Uh, not you. It's not going to be in here. Oh, that's a lovely keg. Oh, that's a lovely keg. Ow. I need more food. No, food. Food. Food? I said food. Oh well. Um, I will check all this stuff later. Gotta be one in here, so that means I would have three. Is there one back here? and the warrior who had forsaken his duty for the life below the waves slipped from our minds. Perhaps we noticed fewer sea kin on the waves, perhaps not. We had no way of knowing that far below a sickness was spreading. It robbed many, the sea queen among them, of their voice and of their song. With no harmonious words to give them purpose, the afflicted became isolated, resentful and cruel. They saw us as if, for the first time, we were strangers once more. Who struck first, I cannot say. I know only that from the time of my childhood, to travel into deep water, while often necessary, invited great peril from below. Their new song was one of hatred. They clawed our boats apart and dragged us down in a baleful embrace. Without a word spoken, our two worlds were now at war. Eek.
the cinema? No. Nope. You guys can kill them. I still gotta, I still gotta search, search for your, no. <gasps> Yay. How it must have pleased the sea queen to trespass into the king's reliquary and lay claim to the great warrior's remains all those years ago. Our legends do not speak the whole truth. The great warrior spirit was not delivered to the heavens by the king. That was not his fate. The great warrior has taken an oath to serve the royal family, even beyond death. His spirit was not permitted to rest. The warrior's soul remained bound to his body, ready to be summoned again should he be needed. A royal secret handed down from father to son, mother to daughter. When my queen learned the truth, she bade me recover the warrior's body to end his servitude at last. I set forth at once, not knowing I was already too late. Now we just gotta get through all these puzzles. No. No. Wait, was that four? No. No, 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 no. Not four. One. Two. Three. One, two, three. Four, okay. Um. Bit. One. Two. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. Oh, I found it. Like them all, that one, that did not seem like four. Two. Aha! I knew it wasn't four. Okay, I think I have one more hall to go through. No, that's it. Okay. Oh god, I have to go back to the turtle room. Oh, come on. Both of those are lit up. That one's lit.
this one's lit, that one's lit. Okay, that's the end of that hall. Let's go this way. Probably missed one. No, I didn't even miss one. I didn't miss one. There's one there. Two. Oh my god, it's right there. Okay, now I can finally... Read the last one. I did all that I could to obey my queen's command, but to search the entire ocean, one might as well seek to count all the stars in the sky. When the time came to depart these waters, I felt great shame. I had failed to find the great warrior, and his spirit would remain trapped here. Then the stranger, Belle, came to us. She had news of the places we had left behind, of one who sailed as we once did and the danger they faced. I, of course, saw a second chance to complete my task, but experience has gifted me with a cautious nature. I chose first to observe and be sure her intention intentions were sincere. Once I was convinced, I summoned my most loyal acolytes and bade farewell to paradise. And with that, I will see you guys when I get back to Plunder Valley. Bye!